Haggerty Toys had their convention in Baltimore, Maryland, live from Fashion Week, where they introduced a lot of new dolls. And of course, I had to get one of them. When buying the convention dolls, sometimes there is a serious markup. A $150 doll could end up costing about two to 300, or even more. I was really, really fortunate to find a fabulous person who was willing to let me get this doll at the convention price, which was $150. The box is black with cutouts showing yellow underneath. On the back, it says it includes a 12.5 inch 1-6 scale fashion doll, outfit and accessories. This doll cannot stand alone, a doll stand is included. For collectors, 15 and up only. Let's carefully open it for that first look. Aww. She is from the New Face collection. And there she is. Whoa, look at that face. This is London show Naja Rhymes convention collection dress doll. I do apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I am horrible with names and know that I am trying. I am most likely going to change her name anyway to what I have no idea because I did not plan on buying this doll. Yeah, completely an impulse buy. But they were having a convention. I saw her, she was gorgeous. Yeah, so that's how that happened. Let's take her out of the box for a closer look. Baby. Baby. Out of the box. The girl is fierce. Look at that facial expression. Super arched eyebrow, a nice smokiness around the eyes, full lips, and yes, those delicately placed eyelashes. She has curly hair, lots of locks hanging down in the back, a little bit of box hair here, but that's okay. The front of her hair is pulled up into a high ponytail. Then it all cascades down the back, stopping above the waist. Her fingernails are painted, looks like the same color as her lipstick, and her nails are pretty long. She's wearing a faux leather coat dress. I certainly hope that's faux leather. This material is very soft. The details that Integrity Toys puts into their clothing is amazing. They top stitched all their seams. On both sides, there are several panels that make up the skirt. It has a pretty nice size train. I'm loving this rich brown color. There are little zippers everywhere. Right there where the pockets would be, there is a zipper that goes all the way down the front, making a split at the bottom. There are zippers on the sleeves and on her patent leather stiletto boots. These boots go past the knee. The zipper goes all the way from the top to the bottom. They have metallic heels and chains. Sorry, I can't walk in heels. And to be honest, this is what I really look like when I'm trying to walk in heels. Her jacket dress has a wide collar and it hangs off of one shoulder. There are faux buttons and a faux pocket. There's a belt around the waist with grommets and there are little silver buttons on the loops. The inside is completely lined, which is a little detail that makes me very happy. She comes dressed in black stockings, which makes me a little nervous after finding stains on my Feeling Extra Jade. Now I'm just a little weary of any black material. No worries, we made a little sweatsuit and it's on standby. Here is the Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that this brand new collectible was created to celebrate the Live from Fashion Week convention, which took place in Baltimore, Maryland in October 2019. Number 411 out of 700. Let's check out those accessories. One of my favorite parts. I love Integrity Toys accessories. Let's see what we got here. To be honest, the bags are my favorite part. Here we have a dark green metallic bag with silver details on the bottom. 
The letters NF hang off the handle. For new face, I assume there is a pattern all over it. Two matching green handles. Oh wow, there is a zipper in there. Wow. She has an extra set of hands that are purple, so it looks like she's wearing gloves. I think this is a great idea. Anytime a doll has painted hands, having an extra set that looks like they're not wearing the gloves would be perfect. So very happy about this. Here we have a pair of earrings and a metallic collar. That's a necklace or a choker. The earrings are purple. They look like they have amethyst at the ends. I think it's plastic, but it looks like amethyst and it looks really, really cool. Kind of love that. She came with a doll stand, is fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, upper torso, hip, and knee. She totally has a don't mess with me look and I'm kind of loving it. We got a couple of other goodies from the convention, like this bag. I'm kind of obsessed with these bags at the moment. This bag is black, faux leather with double zippers, and it's pretty much identical to the blue one that we got with one of our guys. My friend sent me this little tiny bag. I think it opens, but I'm not going to try. Check out that tiny little lock. That is the smallest lock I've ever seen. My very last item is from the tiny frock shop. We have a little box here, and inside, we have a guitar. This is made of wood. That's really cool. It's got a nice, shiny finish. Can you see that? Those are strings, and they actually move. There are little pegs at the top. The detail here is just amazing. And I think it matches our new girl perfectly. So we got three bags, a guitar, and a new collectible doll from this year's Integrity Toys convention. So what do you think? Are any of these items a buy or a pass? Let us know in the comments down below. Next year's convention is in Dallas, Texas, and I really hope I can go. But if not, it's good to know that we can still get a few things even though we're not there. We didn't give this beautiful lady a new name or a backstory because I didn't plan on buying her. So if you have a suggestion, please leave that down below as well. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few items from the Integrity Toys convention for 2019. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. You